Hey everybody, this is Cyrus for bestdebookreaders.com. Today I'm going to show you the security settings for the Kindle Fire HD. This is also covers some more advanced topics. I'm just going to over, go over them because I don't have an exchange account, so I'm going to I'm going to tell you about that. So let, let let's just get it started. I'm going to go from home. I open the setting bar. I go to more and security. It's pretty straightforward. I have the lock screen and password on. This is where your your Kindle signs off, signs you off, logs you off when you haven't used it for a while, and you don't want someone to just come and start using your device. So you set a password. I have an easy password, but you, you can have a really long password with you know something you can't even remember, and just make sure that. A stranger doesn't get access to your information. Changing password, easy to do. I don't want to do it. You can also turn it off. A number only option. Your pin ha has to be at least four characters. So you want to be mindful of that. The credential storage is very important especially for folks who are planning to use this in the enterprise in an enterprise setting this is especially for exchange based accounts so such a such accounts are going to provide you you know when you join a company and they provide you with the information and the credentials so you have to talk to the IT team usually to get this information and set this up i don't have any i don't have an exchange server in my office so I can't show you how it works and that's why it says I don't have a certificate file but if you can talk to your IT department they usually have this information they can provide you with that unless they have a policy against using a tablet when I was working at a bank a few years ago even when I had the iPad the first version iPad and I wanted to connect it to the network they were saying that it was a no-no and but that was a bank sitting and they have security protocols to follow. So you want to be mindful of that and you want to talk to the IT team of your company to make sure you get that off. The VPN, same. You need an application from the App Store to get this to work. There, there are plenty of them available, but I'm not going to get into that now. It's going to be probably another video for that. same device administrator I don't have one you can activate and view and deactivate them here I do have the debugging version the debugging option on to debug this over USB this is for more advanced users most of us probably never have to deal with this but if you are an advanced user you want to do some things, some cool things on your Kindle or just the de debug things. This is where you get things that enable the option. So in order to keep your Kindle secure basically, the first option is to have a password, a long password. When your Kindle signs you off, it logs you off. That's the easiest one. If you have an Exchange Enterprise account, you get the credential, you install it, and you go from there so you can connect to the system of your business. VPN, you need an application for that. There are a couple available in the App Store. I'm going to review them at a later time just to show you how they work exactly. And that's about it. The most important thing is when you install an application, even if you have these options on, you want to make sure you trust the application. If you are getting it from a third party, watch the processes that are running on your device. I've already covered that in a couple of videos back. Make sure you know what's being transmitted over the over your device to these third party servers so to protect your information. The password is not going to be foolproof. If you lose your device, there's an application. Look at my Kindle. It's not perfect. You may be able to get your Kindle back. And if you don't want, if you don't want to take any risk, first is you shouldn't 
put the blueprints for a super secret project that your company is working on on your Kindle Fire if you know there's a chance that it's going to get it stolen. I mean, that is that is a no-brainer. You can have all these security settings, but if you're not paying attention, it's easy. Any device can get hacked if you just make a small mistake. So for super sensitive data, you want to make sure you have all the settings that you want on and also just make sure you take that extra step so your data doesn't end up in someone else's you know a competitor or, a, or or a thief or someone who may be able to harm your business or harm use your personal information so i hope you like this video i'm going to have another video on security covering the best practices to securing a tablet not just the kindle fire our coverage for the past few weeks has been the Kindle Fire HD because it just came out and it does have an HDMI app so I can actually show you the video. It's not just pictures. And we also going to do this for I the iPad and other devices, Nook HD and Nook HD Plus. So stay tuned for those. Thank you very much for watching, for comments, feedback, and anything else that you have on my in mind. Just go to bestebookreaders.com, contact, and send us an email. Thank you very much.